Hello, my name is Juan and I'm the CEO and co-founder of CaproX. We're a spin-out from Cornell University. We're a sustainable ag tech company that's focused on solving two problems initially, waste streams from the dairy production industry and unsustainable palm oil chemicals. We're located in New York where a majority of the US is strained yogurts are produced. So this is Greek and skier yogurt. And the industry is dealing with a troublesome byproduct called acid whey. Due to the straining process for these yogurts, there's over three times as much waste as product produced, resulting in over a million gallons of waste that has to be treated every single day. Acid whey is acidic and highly concentrated, so it can't just be poured down the drain. The industry is entirely reliant on trucking this waste off-site, sometimes hours away. They use off-takers to take this waste any way they can, and this is getting more and more difficult every year as regulations at the state and federal level are tightening and costs are increasing. <clears throat> On the other side of our markets, we've all seen the impacts of palm oil production leading to deforestation and uh, damage to the environment and production of millions and millions of pounds of greenhouse gases to the environment. Major companies like Nestle and L'Oreal are making efforts to divest from these products. So Caprex is developing the Way Away system, which is a sustainable fermentation process that produces green chemicals. It's a fermentation bioprocess that uses non-GMO microbes to treat acid whey waste, producing recovered water and sustainable palm oil chemicals. Our initial profile of the products, which are targeting for the specialty chemical flavor and fragrance industry, is uh, mixes and pure cuts of fatty acids, esters, and glycerides like MCT oils. We provide these to initial customer already, and they've already reported that our chemicals are higher quality than things they can currently get on the commodity markets from Palm. We're excited about our opportunity to increase sustainability in the dairy industry, and so is Newsweek and most recently Dairy Reporter. And just to put a little bit of numbers on our sustainability impacts, the New York uh, Policy Prevention Institute uh, analyzed our system, and if we are able to address just 10% of the New York's acid whey production, we can have these considerable impacts compared to current practices. Now our ultimate goal is to bring sustainable practices to the dairy industry at large. Today we're focused on Greek yogurt, but tomorrow we're going to be working on cheese whey and milk uh, processing byproducts, and we'll be moving past specialty chemicals into targeted animal health feed additives and ultimately biofuels. Our business team consists of me, we have Paul Lee, our COO is here, Lars, who's our CTO and co-founder, and Toby used to be a program lead for ag bioproducts at the USDA. And I'm just gonna finish on this slide, which is our first pilot system installed at a customer site as a Greek yogurt plant in New York State. We're always looking for new partners, customers, and investors who believe in our sustainable approach for dealing with dairy byproducts, and we welcome you to visit our table where you can just talk more about the Wayway process and experience some of the oils we produce. Thank you for your time.